I approach divorce like a crime scene investigation. I draw a chalk circle around the family. I hang yellow tape. I try to find out what the anatomy of the murder is. What happened? And it usually is never what you think it is. We all know people who are angry years and years after their divorce is over. Anger and resentment lives in the blind alleys and the trap doors of your past. You have to learn how to let anger go if you want to walk through the front door of your future. People also believe they can engage in any emotion they want, and those emotions will be over when the case is over. They will not. I say to people, look in the mirror. You will not be the same when this case is over. Don't you want to have a hand in who you become? But we watch the smartest people in the world, from the Park Avenue to the Park Bench. Nobody is immune from our process of divorcing. I have watched people spend millions of dollars fighting over who's going to get the Moody Blues album. Judge Michelle Lawrence. Judge Michelle Lawrence. Judge Michelle Lawrence. Judge Michelle Lawrence. Did I say it right, your name? It's very natural because we think our system encourages that and that you can get frequent flyer, flyer miles the more you can assign blame. Yeah. But remember, if you make a mess of your case and then you come to court, the court has a gavel, not a magic wand. I've been a judge in divorce court for 16 years and I have watched the corrosive legacy of how parents treat each other bleed down into the children. The day that changed my life as a judge is when a young boy came into my courtroom, seven years old, in a custody fight, and he said to me, I wish I was dead. Why? Well, if I was dead, my parents could stop fighting, because they always seemed to be fighting about me. If I wasn't here, maybe they could be happy. We see the wreckage of the traditional divorces everywhere we look. People are not healing from the way that we have been doing it. I want to help people access their own emotional IQ. I want people to collaborate with me in their healing and the rescue of their family. In the end, in the trenches of adversity, in the swamps of mistrust, we have to teach people a different way to communicate, to teach them that's where their power is going to lie. This is the next generation of court show. This is what people are crying out for. This is what people are now demanding. They want a different way. They need alternatives.